Hello, and welcome back to Suricata Crafts. I'm Rebecca. Today I'm going to do a quick yarn review on some wool that I bought from AliExpress. It took about eight weeks to arrive, and it is 100% wool. I have not opened the package yet. I wanted to get my first reactions to share with you. I'm going to post a quick photo of the specs because I don't speak the language that it's written in, but I got a photo translator on my phone and this is what they say. It's 50 grams, 160 meters, and 100% wool. So here we go. So this yarn is a roving style or a single ply, meaning that there's only one strand. A plied yarn would have two or more strands twisted together uh, for different reasons. Sometimes to make it stronger, sometimes for effect. Um, but this one is a single ply, which has its uses as well. So, it is pink, cream, and a spring green. So I'm going to pull it from the center and get a ball of yarn barf. There we go. It doesn't give any information on what size hook you should use. So I've decided to just try a four millimeter hook. Um, this is my Omi hook from Amazon that I've done a review on and it, uh, it is acrylic with a metal hook. Let's give it a try. On first touch, you can tell it's wool. It's very smushy. It has a nice spring to it. You can see that it has a halo. Um, and one thing about uh, roving or single ply yarn is that it t does tend to pill after use. So um, use it in some in a project that doesn't get a lot of rubbing or wear. So I'm just going to start a quick swatch. It's not exactly soft to the touch, it just feels like wool, but not a particularly soft wool. It doesn't say what type of wool is included in it, just that it is 100% wool. And it feels like 100% wool. So uh, it's not splitting, which sometimes you get with the single plies. It's moving smoothly on my metal hook. I'm just doing a row of double crochet. One thing I am noticing is that the ply is not consistent, which is not abnormal in um, a single ply like this, meaning that some spots are a lot thicker than other spots. So for example, right here is quite a thick spot. And then if we travel up the yarn, right here is a thinner spot. So you just take that into account as you use it. This feels a lot to me like a thin version of Bernat Roving. Uh, Bernat Roving is more, I believe it's a four, a four weight, um, and it is actually a wool acrylic blend, but to me it feels quite a bit like that, but much thinner. I'm actually quite impressed with this yarn. It is behaving 
better than I expected it to. So the four millimeter hook seems to be working well with it. So I'm going to work away at this swatch, come back when I'm done. I've got my swatch finished and I actually wanted to keep going. The color changes are so subtle and beautiful as you go up. I just wanted to keep going to see the rest of the color changes. But I think I'm going to save it and make an actual project out of it because you can only frog or pull out roving so many times before it gets really pilly. So let's give this a tuck and see how easy it is to pull out. It's getting a little hung up. Um, that is due to the halo, which are the little fine fibers that stick off of it, as well as the fact that it's roving. So where it's a single ply, the fibers will start to felt to each other. They'll start to connect and intermesh and then it's harder to pull it apart. So it's not too bad, but you also have to be careful not to pull too hard. There's not a lot holding this yarn together. So I would say if you can avoid frogging this, I would, um, especially if it's been uh, crocheted for a while because the more you handle it the more you're interconnecting the fibers so overall I enjoy working with this yarn especially this colorway uh, I wouldn't use this yarn for a garment but it would be lovely if you wanted to felt it either needle felting or to um, make something and then felt it by hand or in the machine. This would be perfect for that. So overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I don't like the way it's frogging and it's not particularly soft, but the color was fun to work with. It worked up really easily. It wasn't splitting. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. So that's my review on the Rose Color Wool Rainbow Series from AliExpress, which right now is selling for $4.05 a ball and with free shipping. I will put a link in the description below, so if you wanted to get this wool in this color, which is number 13, color 13, or another color, you'll be able to get to it easily. Thank you for joining me. This is Rebecca with Suricata Crafts. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting.